Perfect. Uh, hello, everyone. Thank you for your time. So uh, today is the seventh meeting uh, of the CC uh, Catalyst team. Today we're going to have, we have Dean, Dor, Felix, Loris, Victor from the admin staff. There's myself as the facilitator supported by Stephen as a secretary, uh, Michael as a co-secretary, shadow secretary supporting Stephen. Uh, unfortunately, today, David and Julian are not able to make it. So uh, first, uh, maybe a quick uh, check-in from the circle members. Uh, how has uh, things been for the past couple of weeks since we last spoke? Uh, maybe we'll start with Felix, followed by Loris. Felix? You can't hear it, Felix. Okay. Maybe, Loris, you want to start? I'm just trying to figure it out. Okay. So, um, yeah, of course, not much has happened. You know, we had several discussions with these uh, um, SPOs, uh, some of calls, and, and discussed different topics. And one of the topics, again, was, you know, like miscellaneous things, etc., and and still there's like kind of you know everyone agrees that it should be something there, but nobody actually you know comes with some kind of idea uh, how to proceed that and and what would be those you know categories uh, which are not covered and 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 as as we know that we are able you know to influence uh, the categories in the basket, so therefore it's like kind of becomes a little bit uh, useless. And therefore, it's like not so not not a big boost in interest regarding that to push it forward at this stage. Thank you for the update. But uh, I suppose uh, I suppose uh, yeah, the the toolmakers and other categories maybe they have different views and and we have to revisit that kind of thing. But yeah, that's what I get some kind of feedback. No, thanks for that, Felix. From your end. Uh, followed by Dor. I'm not sure if Felix is able to hear us. Okay, he has some issues. So maybe okay. then. Dor, would you like to start? Followed by uh, Victor. Sure. Yeah, it's been a it's been extremely busy time for me uh, after vacation. You know. Uh, we also had Chris uh, away this week, away this week, and the launch of, of the new fund. It's just been like a lot of work, and um, <clears throat> the best thing. I mean, I don't. I guess for me, I'm just excited. I think there's gonna be again. Still can't talk about it that much because it's still like internally discussed. But I think there's gonna be. Um, an entire plan, an entire strategy that is getting set up for for the coming year about you know specific problems we we raised right for I, IOG like being the kind of custodian of Cardano and how are we how are we moving that decentralizing that uh, so there's like just tremendous i don't know you heard charles i think in the summit talking about it and um we're now busy translating the the intention into a plan of action that is extremely complicated because it spans uh, you know it's not easy that we've been doing things in a certain way for five years and now we need to transition away from that and uh um in a short time so uh, it's a lot of hard work but i'm I, I feel confident that because of what we think from catalyst because of the legitimacy the community gained because of catalyst the legitimacy the community gained from the circle from seeing representatives like uh, just leading to constructive outcomes there's more more options and more things are feasible now than they were like let's say like a year a year ago um so more to come i think it's gonna be great um it's gonna be a lot of hard work <laughs> brilliant awesome thanks door uh victor please go ahead followed by dean 
Yeah, sure. Uh, for me, I, th I think it was a couple of slow weeks because I was on vacation visiting my family, so I didn't spend so much time doing that stuff besides the VCA work. And yeah, we started doing the retrospective already. Yesterday we had the proposal retrospective, which was good. Some people raised some problems regarding not only the proposal point of view, but also some other point of views. And we are continuing with this the following, week, following week. I'll try to get something more from the CA's perspective this time. And yeah, this week also we discussed, uh, me, Nadine, and Dor about the, the voting process for at least Circle V2, but I, I think that we are going to talk about this during the, the meeting itself. Awesome. And Victor officially resigned this week as well. That's another. Uh, yes, <laughs> officially resigned. Yeah. <laughs> Don't have a day job anymore. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Um, Actually, I changed well, the day job. Now it's Catalyst. <laughs> welcome on board. Awesome. I think Dean disconnected might have a connection issue until he's back. Felix, I feel you fixed the, the issue at your end. I think so. Please so go ahead. Me also didn't happen so much in regard to what I think belongs to Catalyst Circle, but definitely what we started yesterday, the retrospective has a lot of value. And also that's just what Victor touched on. So this was quite interesting that in the retrospective, people came not only to speak about the experiences from a proposal side, but also a general from a community member side. And it went a lot into the social part. And it's really what, well, it was extremely interesting to your community point of view is to have a quite negative sense to retrospective. Everybody points problems because they want to build the solutions. And then we just drop the question, yeah, who from you would like to leave the date shop and go full-time into Catalyst? And everybody in the room was ready to go. So <laughs> this is something really interesting after having a very negative feedback about, yeah, this doesn't work, this doesn't work, this doesn't work. Anybody, everybody in the room said, yeah, I would go full. I will definitely play with the idea to go full-time Catalyst. So which brings me a lot to the point that, yeah, we are building society. And this is really beautiful. And I think also Catalyst Circle plays an important role there and will also play hopefully when we do everything right so just thanks to everyone brilliant 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 awesome uh dean uh, welcome back please go ahead uh yeah sorry my connection is just a mess today um so i met with uh the circle and they invited uh, this gentleman uh peter uh near up um, I think he um, has a stake pool. I, I'm not 100% sure, but he's in analytics and he has a pretty large presence on Twitter. And he he breaks down all these different, you know, uh, um, how many wallets there are, how much are in the wallets, this, you know, he, all these different types of analytics. And he asked me what he could do to help uh, the um, the R RC and when we talked in our meeting, I, I asked him if there uh, if he could basically come up with the uh, um, uh, I guess the 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 percentage of voting from the individual um, I guess wallets or like larger wallets, smaller wallets, mid sized wallets, and the percentage of actual voters. So that's something that uh, him and I are 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 on a basically like a sidebar working on um but that was the reason why they introduced him to me in the uh search committee was um to see if he can come up with the, his analytics because that's his company um that's what they do um so if they can come up with numbers for us to kind of help um i guess focus um moving forward awesome good stuff brilliant so uh Moving forward, let's go through quickly the agenda. Uh, there's not a lot of items and obviously timing can be interchangeable. So we're spending a chunk of time to go through the Trello board. That's our latest update of all the problems or items that everyone is working on. So we'll pass through each person to give us uh, an update on uh, you know, what, what changes and updates have been happening on the Trello board so that we're all aligned. Uh, then uh, recently, a couple of days ago, Victor, Dor, and I uh, 
uh, had a call and we have a sort of a proposed election process that will take you through uh, this because this is something that we'll need to start doing uh, ASAP and we have a direction obviously we'll all have to go through it and align it together um, and then finally going through the action items and then feedback for improvement so we're starting with the cello and this I believe uh, Stephen, this is where Michael was supposed to uh, share Trello. Is he here? Not here yet. You're on. Yeah, yeah I could um, share the Trello, but I can't take notes at the same time. But but I'm so I'll have to refer back to the recording. But the um, let's see, uh, share screen. Hold on a sec. Okay, can you see that? Um, yes, perfect. Uh, awesome. So based on the latest updates, I'm not sure if everyone is keeping this updated, but this is the, the latest visibility that we have. It might be... Uh, you know, it might need some updating, which is the reason for this, uh, this session. So we'll go through each person, discuss, uh, you know, what are the latest updates here? Are there new uh, problems that we're working on? Have we closed any of these uh, items? Have we moved them along within this uh, process? So uh, maybe we'll take the, the same sort of flow. Loris, please, if you want to go ahead. Um, followed by Dora, I believe. So from my side, you know, we don't have anything which is going forward this this time. Um, so yeah, we're still waiting for the finishing for funding. So we, uh, after the voting, I suppose, will be one thing which will move forward or will be changed. Uh, otherwise, everything will still the, stay the same. All right. Um, OK, and I, I believe now we we're gonna have to all focus on on the election. So uh, maybe adding new items now is not the best. We'll we'll need to start to try to finalize uh, the action items that we have to do as a as a circle. Um, all right. So, Dor, is there any updates from your end in terms of uh, these action items? Um, followed by Victor. Sure. First of all, just a quick. Um methodology like i see there's like some tickets here that have no owners and i think uh, it's actually important that every ticket have a specific owner from the circle um so maybe maybe in the end of the meeting if we have some extra time we can go through the empty tickets and decide who's the owner of them or or maybe the administrators can yeah sign according to what they remember yeah um, uh, we, were, we were proposing, if everyone is fine with it, to move to Jira. So we know that uh, we've been working as the admin team on Jira, testing it out. And you can easily assign people and you can write notes and updates. It's a lot easier. So if everyone is fine with this, by the next session, we can move to, to Jira. And each, each of the items will be assigned. Maybe it's a good idea that the next then couple of circle moves to Jira. Yeah, that's why, that's why we didn't propose it yet. Uh, yeah. Because this is not easy, Trello, what we're finding. Uh, we were all agreeing that Jira might be better. So, yeah, next session. I suppose when the next couple circle comes, basically, you, you can take these issues and, yeah. and then put only the relevant issues there, then just copy paste everything. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, I don't. Yeah, I'm, I'm a real, I work in Jira every day and I absolutely hate it. I really hope that we can consider other alternatives like Asana, for example, or stuff that's a bit more light than, uh, than Jira, because Jira is really heavy and it's, I think it will prevent a lot of people from participating and also maybe a clear understanding of like, what are the requirements of the tool? Um, anyway, this moving to the actual subject we're talking about so this okay this item uh how does ioh can catalyst so so we have one in the problem backlog 
even you know yeah so this one one so this you can add me as a as an owner of that um I actually I think it would be great I mean like just looking at it I think it would be great that maybe we can have a a discussion from the circle I'd love to hear from the circle members their perspective on this problem like how do they encounter it and we can start to move it so maybe we can take this off this main meeting and maybe schedule maybe someone a, a, the, the, who, who feels they can relate to it? Okay, so this, this problem of like, um, you know, the, I would call it like the need of the different groups in Catalyst, like understanding like what is what is IOHK like current, why is IOHK currently working on? What is in the pipeline? How do we avoid duplication of efforts, or how do we? you know, collaborate on things more effectively, IOG and the rest of the community. Um, if you think it relating, related to your group, then raise your hands and let's set a, I suggest we, we can set a meeting uh, next week to, um, to really review it. Like I want, I want to hear everybody's perspective about it so we can start to define this problem a bit better. Totally agree. Um, who who would feel is uh, interested to join or relevant for them? Would anyone like to join? Felix or, or Victor? Sorry, I just I just saw your hand. Okay. Um, it's most relevant for toolmakers and CAC. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. So we can schedule a meeting uh, next week. Maybe we can agree on a date and time. Uh, separately yeah. through, through telegram i think same time i mean if we can do same time next week it's easy for me i think my, my schedule is open okay so this is one ticket so let's try to move it forward the the other one is the this one um so this is we're we're moving the, like as i said in my update right we're moving towards having it a well-defined problem I mean, currently the internal process is one of, of mapping, okay? We're, we're actually both in Catalyst and outside of Catalyst, we're mapping any point of, of that I, IOG has, has kind of control over. Uh, for the, just like mapping it and then like seeing like, okay, so we want to move from that being an IO, not being, not being an IO under custody, and we're starting to, you know, raise different options. Okay, like who who is like is the CF? You know, it's like some parts like should be the CF, some parts should be community, like treasury funded stuff. You know, maybe some some of it should be this entity called the DCF. You know, that still needs to be defined a bit. Um, is some things, uh, you know, can happen fast, some things can need to happen slowly. You know, slowly and carefully. So we're doing that and. Uh, and I think, uh, you know, once we map and prioritize, you know, we can share that with the community and we can start to, to have a much broader conversation of like, okay, so who's, who's the best adapted, right, to take on these things and how does the transition looks like? Um, and, and I think it's good to come, come there kind of with a really framework ready and all the IOG stakeholders kind of unified on the, the approach. So uh, just to prevent messiness. So this is where I'm at. So we're still not the defined problem. We're still at the same place, but uh, we, we, it, it's not easy to move it to a well-defined problem. That's, all, that's what I'm trying to say. Thanks for the update on that. Um, Dor, any other uh, action items here that uh, that you have an update on? No, that's that's all I have. Uh, perfect. Uh, Victor, followed by Dean. Yeah, so uh, from the CA group, we've got a problem, which is the lack of a reputation system for CAs and BCAs. 
And I think this one uh, has just been picked up by the community. Um, you've got to see who came up with the with a draft for a reputation system, and this is now being discussed among the CAs. And or mentioned he is going to share this with the IG research group soon when we have a better document. So I think we can move this one to pick it up. Um, just wait uh, some moment to uh, uh, why Stephen writes this down. <laughs> okay, uh, the second one uh, is the system for to, uh, to assess and review assessments to account for the quality of the assessment itself and also the uh, a fairer payment for VCAs. So we just finished the VCA round, the QA phase. And I'm not sure if we should move this already to validation because we've just received the data from, from this, uh, from this QA, QA stage. And I'm going to analyze it to some, some charts again and check how, how, uh, how it went, if it went well, if uh, we were able to remove the bad assessments and everything. So we are moving forward with this, but I'm not sure if it's uh, already the time to move this to the validation column. Yeah, I think, yeah, it makes sense uh, to keep it there for now until uh, until next update, or possibly. Yeah. I was going to have some data already, but my PC died from <laughs> during the night. <laughs> the motherboard burned, <laughs> so I'm trying to fix it. <laughs> Sounds good. Perfect. Uh, anything else from your end, uh, Victor? No, that's all. Perfect. Uh, Dean, please go ahead, followed by Felix. I have nothing to add at this time. All right, so Felix, over to you. So I think the faster funding for Catalyst projects, what we made with the rapid funding mechanism challenge team, well, everything is done. Now pending, just waiting for voting, hopefully funding as well. So I think that we arrived to set up a very first frame where actual actions later can take place. It's not sure how we, if we can move it forward already. Yeah, I mean, from our end, this is all done. So I, I believe it's just uh, now awaiting final uh, outcome, right? It also just so, checked, uh, got a beautiful ranking as well. Just checked today again. I think it was five out of five for every category. So really nice. Great. Then what next to make and maintain a need for community reward system Then nothing happened. Then the improved catalyst onboarding, I think we had two experiences where, well, we still didn't have the time to wrap it up, to documentate it and to create a, or write a protocol out of it. What we made already with the CA, and the CA onboarding recruitment and also two weeks ago in the after town hall, where we had several projects from the community coming, Jimba Labs, took part of onboarding developers. SPO came to onboard SPOs, CA school onboarded introduction into Catalyst and proposals. Water have been there. So that we see that the whole community comes together with several projects to address specific groups and directly help them. I think this is beautiful, but yeah, needs to be, yes, so go for it. Yeah, I just want to mention that uh, we have a, a lot of leverage with the unification system. Maybe some of you started to see that, that people can indicate in the app and get push notifications. And we're still waiting for those. I'm still waiting for those um, kind of like curated links, like on onboarding funnels that we can, so we can divert those people and, and divert them to onboarding um, processes. And one thing why I'm not sure, because there are two cards, there's one time 
improve catalyst onboarding. And on the other side, there's a lack of onboarding and introduction systems and structures for project catalyst. So I don't see where's the difference between the both. Don't even know who set them up and I'm owner of both, but a little messy for me to understand the difference between both, if there's a difference. If, there, yeah, if there's overlap, then we can delete one of them. Uh, which exactly. which two are you referring to? Um, there's one in no raw problems. It's the fourth one, T and M. There's a lack of onboarding and introduction systems and structures for Project Catalyst. And then again in prototyping in progress, improve Catalyst onboarding. In okay, which is this the one that you feel is a duplicate? Uh, yes, it is duplicate. Yeah. Or am I wrong? So, yeah, no, so I'm saying know. which one, which one is a duplicate? Or are they both on the same stage? Not the both. They ex they mean exactly the same. Yeah, but I mean, are are they on the same uh, column? Are they in the same stage? So it no, doesn't I matter. Told, no, no, I told you. Yeah. It's just so, which one do you want to delete? Just so that Stephen knows to delete it. Is uh, it the one from the raw problems, I would say. Okay. Stephen, clear on that. So I tried to talk it off, but I don't know. I think you need to have admin rights on the board. Well, I'll do. I'll leave it there for the moment. I'll merge them together. Yep. All right. Perfect. It sounds good. Felix, any other updates from your end? Mm, still happy to be in Catalyst, so I'll find <laughs> Awesome. Uh, so one thing that we sort of also discussed is maybe using this time for the next uh, meeting to have maybe two or three different breakout rooms. Uh, so if you guys feel, I mean, first, what do you guys think of this? And maybe we can think of themes, different themes of each breakout group and what we need to discuss in the, in the, next, uh, in the next call, if you guys feel it would be a better uh, format. Last time we spoke, it seemed like everyone was interested in this. What do you guys think? Uh, I was typing. Uh, I was typing a text. Uh, I was having a side conversation with Victor about fixing some issue. Um, can you repeat the question? So, no, no worries. So uh, last session, we had discussed the possibility of doing breakout rooms using this time to create two or three different breakout rooms. And there seemed to be an appetite. So we're, we, if you guys want to agree on next session, if we're going to have two or three different breakout rooms, what would be the themes? Uh, is this an idea that you guys would like to pursue for next meeting in two weeks? That sounds great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, 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 def I totally nominate the, the two IO ones to, to, to have a breakout room about them. Like, uh, with, with, you know, maybe one, one or two people can, can have a breakout room with me and it could be kind of a follow up on the conversation we'll have next week. Sounds good. Would anyone else like to have a, a specific breakout room? Uh, another, an alternative is that we would we can agree and you guys can take your time and we can all agree on during the in the telegram chat if we're going to have two or three different uh, breakout rooms and what are the themes uh, so you can have your time to think of it sounds good perfect all right so steven i'll uh, i think we're good on Trello now i can share my screen Okay, so next is the is an interesting conversation, succession planning for the next CCV2. So for that, as mentioned, uh, I had a call with Dor and Victor just a couple of day, days ago, and this is sort of a proposed direction that we all were, would like to sort of align with you guys. So the way we've broken it down is in three different stages. One is the pre-election process, uh, and then during the election, and then post-election. And here's the timeline. D is the day of the election. So each item, this happens 20 days before the day of the election, 10 days, et cetera. And this is the same day, then D plus one after the election. Uh, obviously, there are different 
constituencies and groups. And as we saw that each group is going to uh, approach this differently and, you know, what works for one might not work for the other. So here we're, we're sort of mimicking what happened previously. And obviously each person within, within their group can choose to, uh, has a bit of liberty. So this is not all set in stone. Uh, so we'll go through each of them in detail and who's doing what. And here we have some opportunities that we'd like to propose. And then in terms of uh, improvements, quick wins, things that we can do in the next, in this election, and then things that might take a bit more time as long-term initiatives. Um, so first, as in pre-election process, 20 days before the election, we announced the nomination of each of the groups. Um, so we're putting this as 20 days uh, before the election day. Uh, to give enough time. Um, so here, an opportunity is for all of us to agree how are we going to announce this to try to get as, much, as much reach as possible. Uh, and an opportunity here is to use the new push notification for this, to let everyone know uh, that there's a nomination based on their own constituency. If it's an SPO, then it's a message tailored to them and, and so on. Um, what do you guys think there? Dor, please go ahead. Can we make a cool video together? Can we can we do like because I think if we make like a like a two minute video where each of us kind of comes and like like talk a bit, you know, just like easy to disseminate, you know, then we can like put it on Reddit and Twitter and like I can actually talk to a, like the general telegram of the Cardano, you know, that has like I don't know whatever sixty thousand people or something like that, you know, and we can we can put it there, you know, we can pin it, put pin that post there. And that probably would reach a, lot, a large number of people. So just a, just a crazy thought. So are you referring to one video where the entire circle member does it together or each one for their own uh, group? I think I, I, I thought just one video where we're like, hey, like, hey, advisors, SPOs, uh, voters, like, da, 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 like, we need you. And like, you know, and then like, you know, there's a kind of like changing heads, like each one, like, maybe just like some kind of a basic script, you know, where, where, where like each one of us like says like something about what's like the best thing about the circle and what's the, um, what's the uh, specific, uh, requirements of the role and also like um what's the compensation something uh, maybe that's like the like the really basic one and it and, and it's like really short and just like the end of it is just like refers you to the ca candidate like application form something like that yeah what do you guys think about that let's do it <laughs> Seems like everyone uh, likes the idea. I love it as well. Uh, cool. Uh, who would like some, to lead on this initiative? We need <laughs> some make. epic music yeah. in the background. <laughs> <laughs> so how would we go about this? Is there support that can come from um, anyone that knows how to edit and do all yes. that? Yeah. Maybe we can ask it in truth, but we can decide on this later. But we can ask who, sorry? Ada Truth, they are doing educational video editing. Oh, okay. There are some other projects as well, but the community has some really great editors, so we can definitely reach Amazing. out and ask. Amazing. Cool. Let's do that as an action item. I think that would be great. And we can also use the push notification because we can practically reach everyone from the Catalyst community. So. Um, Great. And then here, this is another topic to discuss. Uh, so we were thinking, obviously, if initially we said it would be a three month term, thinking of that, you need two weeks to get onboarded, and then you need at least two weeks for the election. And that's already one month gone. You need someone. Oh, it, it's not, we feel it might not be enough time to really do any work because even from the first circuit, it took maybe a month or so just to get started, really. Uh, so we were considering having the next uh, election term, the term of the next CCV2, six months instead of three months, with the, with the addition that the veterans, yourselves, 
would stick around for that six months, but only as mentors. Uh, it w- shouldn't take a lot of your time, but you would be sort of their buddy, you know, sort of guiding them, uh, giving them advice, but not necessarily doing all the work uh, to guide and clarify expectations to new uh, to, to the newcomers. What do you guys think of that? Extending it from three to six months while keeping yourselves just just as mentors overshadowing. Is it again a volunteer job? So this is the next point here. <laughs> Compensation <laughs> needs to be agreed to upon. To <laughs> Which was exactly the next point, Felix. <laughs> you're, you're 100% right. I mean, we cannot expect uh, people to keep doing this for free. And so a discussion here, this is why it was an open discussion on, uh, we know, we believe the power up uh, proposal was only for three months. So we all need to agree if we're going to move ahead with a six month, then how do we secure the funding for the next three months? And that's a topic that uh, we had kept as a caveat to discuss. So I'd love anyone's thoughts. Dor, please go ahead. Yeah, I'm just saying that it's not that it's like we need to add a new uh, circle funding proposal, you know, to accommodate for extra three months, right, of, of the term of V2. But as Felix says, also accommodate for the extra scope of work of like if if the former Catalyst Circle members are also mentoring, they should also be compensated for that. At least with a laser cat NFT or something. <laughs> so is, is everyone aligned? And how do you suggest we secure that funding? Before going to the funding, is everyone aligned on extending it to six months? Uh, it seemed reasonable, but we'd, we'd love to get if, if, any, if everyone agrees on that before thinking of securing funding. Victor, please go ahead. Yeah, I think we spent approximately two meetings to understand how to operate this CC, but we are also the first CC, CC v, v1. At least the CV2, we have an example to follow and see what worked, what didn't work. So maybe we can try to have the next one for three months and see how it goes. Maybe it's going to be easier for them than it was for us. And if it doesn't work, then we can they can submit a proposal for six months or CV3, for example. This could solve both problems. What do you guys think of that? Mm. Still for six, I mean, I, I think six months is like, I mean, I think even in, in best case scenario, um, I think there's a reason why usually like terms are not so, not so short usually, because I, I do think there's a lot of domain knowledge that needs to happen and transfer. And I mean, I, I I, th- I would feel more confident about a six month term. I mean, we can do, I mean, Victor, I think that's also a reasonable I- idea. We, c- we could do three and wait. I do think that, I do believe that now that Catalyst itself has a much higher profile in the community and uh, also the funding amounts are much bigger. We're gonna attract much more, m- way more candidates. We'll have a higher, like the quality candidate pool is gonna go up. And I think it's fine to ask people to commit for longer. And and uh, I mean, I think it's, that's my intuition. Um, but also that's just my, I just want to emphasize just my opinion. I was <laughs> <laughs> really careful now. <laughs> yeah. I think for the from, beginning. From, yeah. Sorry, yes. go ahead. I think for the beginning, it, from my point of view, it would make sense to get as much experience from different people as possible before moving into longer iterations. And short iterations just allows more people to have experience through short time. So after six months, you have 14 people who had the experience instead of six. And I think this is valuable by moving later into longer iterations. Also there's the admin team. Admin team can have longer iterations steer and help the process a little bit but yeah just get as much experience as in short time as possible 
together and then build up on this and make it long. Yeah, that was something similar, but I also thought that, you know, we are not like uh, yet established like a company, which is, you know, who knows everything, how it should be done, etc. And therefore, there are a lot of inputs which are needed, you know, from different people. And I think uh, more people are coming here, more information, more some kind of, you know, ideas would be better. Uh, six months is a large, uh, long period, especially if we see the budgets, you know, for, for next CC cut list. And, you know, we we understand that, you know, what kind of scope they will have to do. And it's not an easy task. It's not an easy job for them to do. Uh, so I would I would think that uh, six months will scare some people off who already like are committed in other projects. But but yeah, that's just my thoughts. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, please go ahead. Maybe we can do three months for members and six months for admins. Yeah, for admins, it makes sense more, I think. I think also. Even, yeah, even if we continue, okay, three months, like active members, and then still we, you know, uh, we will have to, you know, help a uh, next team to onboard. So it will, of course, it will drag longer than three months. And that's clear. But I would say, okay, three months, it's the active period. So maybe, you know, two weeks, before that, you know, you have to do something and uh, on board either, you know, you join already, you know, the, 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 the current CC team in this, of course, in this, uh, of course, the second do not manage to do it with us, but I did, you know, that we make the elections a little bit earlier. So the next catalyst team can join already, like, uh, and we know who they are and they can join those meetings, like at least two meetings or whatever. And and uh, yeah, and understand how the you know the dynamics. Of course, they have seen the different you know videos how we are doing that. But but stick to the three months. The, let's say the the you know, some kind of uh, yeah period where they really are super active. Six months, then people will be okay. I have six months, so I don't, I don't have to hurry. You know. So I think we need the speed now, and and rotation and yeah that kind of stuff. It seems it seems like we're reaching we're reaching consensus that at least for the next term it would be three months with the admin staying for six months. Does that seem to me? Yeah. Perfect. Next term. Uh, actually, I'll keep that for Stephen. Uh, I was just gonna update it, but Stephen is probably taking notes. Is that correct, Stephen? Or yeah, perfect. Cool. So then, uh, so we announce the uh, uh, nominations, we give people 10 days, and then we secure the nominations, uh, we secure confirmation from the nominees. Uh, so, yeah, so I'm, we're using the same process here uh, that has happened previously. And again, feel free to feel like maybe your group wants to do something a little bit differently. That's, that's, that's totally fine. Um, so... Then we identify the voters and observers, who's going to be in the room, who's going to vote, and who's going to be just watching. Uh, an opportunity is to identify activities uh, in attracting more members in the community. Uh, so how can you get more people involved? Again, close to this, maybe we can also use the push notifications. Uh, Dor, what, what is the process on that? H how much in advance would we need to do uh, in order to ensure a push notification? Um, I don't think, I, I, I think uh, a week in advance is, is good enough. A week in advance, okay. All right, no big. Will it be kind of the same process that candidates will represent in live sessions as well? So, yes, we're saying it could be in, in town hall. Does okay. this, yeah. So we're basically following the exact process that most of most of the teams, the groups have done. So what do you think by changing this a little bit and doing it a little bit like Idea Fest? So Catalyst Soccer Fest, not in the actual town halls, scheduling a live event. And really not make that. it, announce it already long enough before, give it a special date, say, okay. 
do, what do you think about Loris, uh, you have your hand up. Please go ahead. Yes. So uh, also, you know, we have to if you doing in the town halls, we have to understand we have two town halls uh, which are quite active, and you know, uh, then it means also the 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 that people who are going for this, they will have to be on both. That would be ideal. But the problem is again, you know, uh, there are a lot of people who don't speak English, it's, which it's not their, you know. Uh, mother tongue language so that's kind of kind of issue i don't know how to solve it because last time basically we had like a town hall on on wednesday and there was another one town hall but we're basically no one was there uh, so we have to figure out how to cover all regions and yeah. yeah just a quick one door before moving to you what does everyone think about the cc election fest that uh, felix mentioned uh, we're having a specific day so that everyone knows that they're coming. And I'm just imagining it in my head as well that at least uh, the sessions for the election can go after each other rather than all having to go simultaneously so that people can watch all the elections if they wanted to. Uh, uh, I would go, uh, sorry, yeah. my comment would be go to stick with Stone Hall because those are like official ones. And I don't think we should create some more, one more event. And uh, And usually, you know, you are voting for your representative so you are basically in one breakout room listening to your uh, the people who will be representing you then just jumping around so therefore we can do it i think on seven i don't want to do a, a big show out of that i would really like focusing and and let's let's you know do it we have you know already platform there for that sorry you had your hand up please go ahead um yeah, I think it. I think we can look at it from two dimensions. Uh, I think this idea is intriguing, but I, th I think it's two dimensions we can look at it. One is just engagement, right? Like which, where, how, we, where would we get more engagement in, like in the town hall? But I see, and I see pros and cons for each approach. Like, you know, on a Wednesday, like you know, we know that. Uh, there's like a certain amount of people, like, you know, whatever, 130 people coming usually to town halls. And then like another, I don't know, 70 or more coming to the Eastern town halls, right? So if we write on this, we, we know we can depend on this amount of people, at least that will come in, and at, at least them, they will show up. Then the, uh, the, the counter argument is that, you know, like, let's say like doing a special event in the weekend, maybe it will enable even more people to show up. So it's hard for me to to determine. I think I think it's more. It's, it's like we can look at the past. Like uh, ID Fest was held in the weekend, right? The last one. How many how many people showed up total to to, to the live event? To both, we had the east and the west, and we had more than two hundred yeah. three two hundred five people showing up. Okay, and, and how many of them were there because they were like presenting teams and not because they were like spectators? 83. So just 83 people that are... Presenting uh, and 120 uh, presenters. Okay, okay, so like, let's say a total of 120 that are not there to present, but just to participate. Mm -hmm. Um. Right, but but uh, and and in the regular week town halls we have a larger number, right? So so at least the question is like if we if if we actually like start to push it and market it more, will there be more people in the weekend or not versus the town hall? And it's it's really hard to know. <laughs> I uh, maybe. I mean, I mean, you guys know the community. What what, what do you like? Uh, Maybe just like use your intuition. Where, where, what do you think would lead to more? You know, given we, we we disseminate it in a similar way, which which one would get more participation? What what do you think? Victor, please go ahead. Mm -hmm. I think that if we move to a different day, we should create a whole event. I mean, not a big event, but have have different things about governance being talked. Maybe this could attract more people to to be interested. Like having something, someone from IUG, someone from uh, Cardano Foundation, maybe Charles can can be there to give a 
a speech for five minutes, something like this, to bring more attention to the circle. This could be could be good. Yeah, Charles, Charles might be a candidate for the circle, by the way. <laughs> He, he said, I think he was about, he, he said he wanted to for the, this circle. And actually going to be a big attractive, attractive point for people to join. Because if he joins, probably other people want to get a chance to hang out with him every two weeks. So um, yeah. they'll be just hanging out with him. <laughs> you know, hanging out, working, doing, doing things together. But it's, it's not a lot of people get to have FaceTime with yeah. him. So. He's, he's going to present the general voters. <laughs> <laughs> he might. I think uh, I need to ask. Uh, we need to talk to him. But uh, I think there's a good chance he will be. He he wanted in the first one, uh, so I think for this one, I think uh, there's a there's a if. You know, I think if uh, we make a point out of like really asking him in a timely way, then then I think it, there's a good chance it will happen. Maybe he's a CA as well, and we just don't know about <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's also a CA and we, we just don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think we would know we would, we would, when we're reading the rationale. But, but uh, um, anyway, the, the point is, I'm saying like, that's one, that's one uh, dimension, right? The, the, the time. Then the other dimension is, you know, can we create a decision-making process, something there that can actually help us elect higher quality candidates, right? Like, like, can can this like the fact that it's like a unique event and having a you know that it has its own thing happening, you know, can we do something there that would make the the actual process better, that would lead to better outcomes? And that's I think that's also interesting, like. Uh, um and i think that's a lot about the question of like first of all if there's anybody who's like because because with town halls we have already the infrastructure set up it's like minimal effort right there's no it, the people are there the event is there you know we can just say like have a first half hour of whatever first hour of town hall we, we can even have no town hall and just do elections you know and uh that's easy but but then like if we do a special event then we actually need a small crew to produce it and also people to think about the the you know like how to run it exactly but yeah yeah there is please go ahead. yeah one more comment so basically uh, what i see Tom, of course as you know dor said that it already has its structure but maybe the plus for you know having a different event is attracting people who are not coming to the town hall. So it's like, you know, there is, you know, town hall is people, you know, who already are maybe know a lot, but for example, for groups like, you know, headholders or, or stake operators and others, you know, um, who are, you know, so far maybe they heard about something in town hall. So it will maybe a good idea for, you know, to have really some kind of different event, new event, which will be a little bit more natural, you know, uh, and it could help attract more people. So maybe, but it, the question is, you know, do we have the manpower and everything, you know, to manage that? Uh, I suppose Felix can comment on that. Uh, but yeah, so you never know till you know, as always. For me, the main point would be, is this event, because the town halls are hosted by IOG, the weekends of our events are hosted by the community. And I think it would be a nice signal also to say that the election process when the candidates show up it's a community who organize i think this has a symbolic really high value also so it's not iot who sets it up it's a community who comes together who sets up the hosts who make sure the event everything will run out well and all the stuff also allows the okay. community again in another part to become part of catalyst circle okay and we can hold the breakout rooms. <laughs> For example. So it seems like we're all aligned on the idea, but now the big question is who will implement all the logistics? Uh, do we have the resources? 
Yes. <laughs> yes. We have the yeah. there. <laughs> and also, Doa, it, it helps IoT <laughs> on, on your point, <laughs> moving IoT to service provide. <laughs> yeah. Doa, is this something maybe you can discuss with IoT to see if, uh, if they can support on this? And Felix, I'm also, I mean, yeah, any, any support that you might need, please let us know as well. Uh, we'll, we'll try to help. So it seems like we're all aligned on it and we'll agree on the logistics and the resources uh, in the next few days. That it was still, still I think, not yeah, I, yeah, I think, I think the only path forward I see is like, you know, if the circle admin team does it, you know, does the product, like, like does the, becomes kind of like the election committee, basically, at least for now. And um, you know, I think it's one off because I, th I think there's something not uh, perfect about because they're also gonna get voted right at some point in right the 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 administrators. So it's not good that they also are the election committee, but uh, it's not gonna happen for the next one. So I think we could, we we're, we should be fine like um to do that as a one off um and uh yeah i mean i wouldn't mind if it rides on the back of a of a swarm session or something like that it, it it's fine right like uh, it happens on the weekend and and you guys have already set up like the the thing you know like you already have a Zoom and invitations and people and facilitators like in place, and you can do the, um, let's say like setting the space and the production, but then the admins do the, the the election and administration. So there's like a bit of a separation there. Mm -hmm. Then it should be it should work, I believe. Awesome. I guess we're aligned. Um, so, so, so now this gives us the opportunity to rethink this now that to, uh, we're having our own dedicated uh, sort of event. Initially in town halls, it used to be to, okay, the election starts, instruct attendees to go to the breakout rooms. Uh, here, the suggestion was to have a communi community satisfaction survey after the breakout room to ask the community how we can improve the, the election process. But if we go with this direction of its own event, then that's not really relevant. Then we show the agenda, then the election process. So each person presents for five minutes. Uh, here, I think that would help is to have references prepared about each nominee to help all the voters be more informed about who this person is, their background, that's all available to them. They'll see everyone. And when we announce uh, the nominations, we, well, there are two things that we need to we need to do. So number one is uh, we're proposing to identify critical to quality characteristics that are expected from each role. Uh, and also to ask the people, the emphasis of uh, choosing a new candidate should be based on previous experience and or contribution done to their group. So an SEO rep uh, SPO representative needs to have been an SPO and you know dedicated something to the community, presented something, been active. Uh, this should be a big priority in terms of their presence in the community. And in terms of critical to quality characteristics, each functional group will have their own different characteristics based on what they need to do, how much time they need to spend. So what we've done is created sort of questions for each person ideally from you to, to answer. Uh, this will clarify a lot to the new uh, person joining. For example, why was this role created? How is this role delivering value? What's the main problem that you're currently uh, solving? So this is in terms of the role and then in terms of the process. So how much time is expected from this candidate to fulfill in this role? What is the most difficult task of this role and why? What's the most rewarding? Which other stakeholders do they interact with? Like defining what you have been doing for the past three months. And then finally, insights. What insights can you share in terms of challenges that this role is currently facing? Uh, how can they execute better? How can they be monitored better? Uh, so if each of you sort of answer this based on your own group, this will eventually become a, a, 
an onboarding kit, an onboarding document that we'll give to the new joiners and they will see exactly what to expect. They will know what are the issues that they're working towards, uh, how many meetings, how much time is expected from them, the, the level of knowledge they should know in terms of tools and systems. Uh, so, it, so is everyone aligned? If I can share this uh, link with you all and you can, you can answer these questions. There are about 15 questions, 19 questions uh, of your group. And this will give a lot of insight to the new joiners in terms of what to expect. Um, thoughts on this? Um, yes. So I would careful, of course, you know, pushing, you know, too much, you know, what they have to do and what, what they be the procedure, what they will do and how much time they have to spend. I, I would prefer that, you know, they're looking for themselves and finding some, some interesting ideas and, you know, not are put in some kind of box. Uh, but some kind of guidance, definitely, you know, at least to what what be expected. Yeah, great. Yeah. But still, you know, not super defining or giving, you know, basically creating a box for them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 100%. Doesn't need to be exact. Uh, just uh, your overall sort of recommendations, thinking that this person that's going to come replace you is going to go through this. What sort of advice and insights you can give them? Uh, Definitely doesn't need to be specific, like you need to spend 10 hours every week or something like that. Uh, so then myself and the admin team can uh, work on identifying the critical to quality characteristics and uh, have them uh, as well announce them when we're asking for a nomination so that the nominees are aware of this as they're joining, uh, if they want to nominate themselves. And then for later uh, iterations, we discussed the possibility of once we have these critical to quality characteristics, we can then have rating-based systems. So the ratings will be done based on these characteristics. And you could have maybe someone that's strong in one characteristic, but not strong in the other. And these critical characteristics will be updated. Each circle uh, version will update the critical uh, to quality characteristics for the new person. So that's something for uh, the later stages. Um, so then once they've presented, we provide feedback to the nominees and then cast the vote. Uh, here we'll need to agree on the methodology behind this. So how do people uh, cast votes? Is it uh, through a Google form or uh, what other uh, mechanism will need to use? Um, Felix, I guess we'll discuss this if we're going to work together on this new event. Maybe we'll discuss this separately unless anyone has any uh, preferences in terms of how they want the voters to cast votes. Yep, please door. Yeah, I, I guess my requirement is like, it's like I don't care as much about the specific tool, but I think it, um, I think it needs something that uh, doesn't require any technical proficiency to be part of. It should be something that any casual person can intuitively use, you know, without needing to, you know, um, go through a big process, right, to, to be able to use it. That, that That's like the... That's all. Yeah. Totally makes sense. Perfect. So votes are casted. And then one day after the election, uh, we present the winning candidates along with other voting results. Uh, we can also share some statistics uh, in terms of how many people showed up, how many people voted, etc. And then uh, so uh, we can and then post election, we introduce each person to their buddy. So uh, in this case, we agreed if, if you guys will stay as mentors, then you will be their, their buddy. They can go to you for questions. And also based on these critical to quality characteristics, this, these answers that, that you're gonna, gonna give us, myself and the admin team will work on an on onboarding kit. So we'll put this all together for each of the different groups and we'll hand them a sort of document for them to come in. And this addresses most of their frequently asked questions and concerns so that they can come in with all the information that they need hopefully in one sheet. And we should have also a session, like a handover session, with yourselves and the new uh, CC uh, team, v V2, or where it could be an informal session and uh, just a discussion on methodology and you know, learnings and what, what they can expect. Uh, maybe you can add a D plus four so that the elected people, when this happens on a Saturday, that the elected people can present in the town hall one week later. And maybe also in the after town hall so that, uh, that their groups, their communities, can yeah. meet them already, can speak to them. Yeah. When it makes sense to everyone. 
So that sounds good. We'll, we'll add a new role with D plus four, and they announce themselves uh, in the in the town hall. That, that makes perfect sense. Um, yeah, so that's the election process that we were thinking of. Um, I'll stop there and ask for any feedback or questions. Uh, the voting, the question is about voting. Uh, will be, you know, will be voting on the Zoom call, or it will be something you know people can do afterwards as well, and or how it will be. Do you have some, already some ideas? Last is basically, yeah. Sorry, okay. Yeah, please, Dora, go ahead. Yeah, I think we've we spent considerable amount of thought in the first process how to avoid the duplicate voting and making it a bit harder to to like hack it. Um, I would recommend like, and it's all very documented. It was shared, so I, I would recommend rather than us like figuring it out again, um, looking at how we implemented it for the first time, and maybe you know and trying to reuse that rather than like inventing some, something new that maybe has other some sort of unidentified loopholes. Because um, cause, cause that process was, has been actually like, we actually like sat and like really, really fought hard about like how it like did risk analysis and stuff. So um, that's my recommendation. And that was my concern basically as yes, we are doing like voting after you know, because I see the day plus one, so I thought, okay, are you giving one day for voting? But then it's again, you know, it's the tools. I don't have we have the right tools at this stage, or you have to really complicate it. So I would prefer, like last time, of course, there are some limitations. So it means that people have to be on the call, uh, which is sometimes not suitable for everyone. Um, yeah, so. Okay. Mm. Perfect, makes sense. So I guess other than that, we're all aligned on the process. Uh, next step here is to uh, define a date for this uh, session. Uh, Felix, you, you'll probably discuss it with, with your community as well. And maybe you and I can work towards that. Yeah. Perfect, sounds good. So um, great. Stephen has been taking a lot of notes. So maybe uh, as we see also that sometimes it's difficult to get already, okay, what will be introduced in the town halls from update from Catalyst Circle. So maybe we arrive to come already up with a date quite fast, let's say in the following days, that we can announce it in advance it's already yeah. in the town hall as well. Because that's definitely a good point to reach out to the community. So maybe Stephen, Nadi, you can set this directly already on the, on the list to CC the updates next time. Yeah. Uh, so are, are you saying you want to agree on a date now, Felix? Not not exactly now. This would be okay. as soon as possible. Yeah, yeah. but exactly. present, present it on the town hall for sure. Exactly. Yeah. So that's uh, present the next on town Wednesday. hall. Yeah. So because, you know, there are groups which are not usually on town hall. Uh, so therefore, we need to reach to other channels and yeah so that's why it's really nice to have the the data as soon as possible of course yeah perfect we'll we'll do so uh so with that uh, i mean we're done with the main points that we wanted to discuss for today uh last point is to go through action items uh we were hoping to have michael but it doesn't seem like he was able to make it uh steven were you able to keep track of the action items Not really, no. Not the, uh, but, uh, totally understand. <laughs> Next yeah, it's time, hard to, it's, hard, it, it, it's hard to do three, three things at once, you know. So that's right. But, but yeah, 100%. I've got some. No, no, no. Yeah, to totally understandable. So yeah, I guess what we'll do is after the this call, we'll handpick all the action items with uh, the person that's supposed to, you know, zoning each action item, and we'll share it uh, with these uh, minutes and on the group. Uh, Dora, please go ahead. Yeah, it, it's because this is the sort of election part is is a pretty fairly complex operation. It's gonna take you know it's uh, requires a lot of coordination and there's like a bunch of deliverables there. 
I think at least we should have uh, come out of here with like a clear definition of who's the point person who's like who's managing the who's the project manager for this thing that that's the key I think that's the key decision we need to come out like and that person would like own the document and dependencies and and like you know basically alert us if there's something that's like not happening or you know that we need some intervention I'm happy to do that unless Felix I, I, it, it, I love to organize events yeah please go ahead uh, Felix please go ahead uh, but you can use me as your uh, sort of support that would be great Dor please go ahead I think you need we need to, there's two different things happening okay and, and I think we we have to separate concerns right we, there's like an event and then there's like an election process okay so these are still separate so i'd rather have like kind of like nadim like supervising the overall like production and like you know and and then felix like project man you know felix being managing the event um just to keep it uh you know just to keep a clear separation it's it's like we, you know we can't have like a a member of the circle managing the elections. It's, that's just a... Uh, <laughs> that's that's the we've, <laughs> we've been there, you know, <laughs> we've seen that in, in this uh, in third world countries, what happens when that happens. Like, not that Felix is uh, going to do something, but I think it's a good practice to, to, to adopt. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. I, I, I mean, I, I'll work, I'll be working very closely with Felix anyway. I'll need his support throughout and he has my support. So we'll work very closely. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to, uh, to do so in close collaboration with Felix. Um, sounds good. So the action items, we'll add them separately and uh, share it with, with everyone. And with that, there's the feedback form here. Please do share any feedback and just last comments, closing notes. Any uh, anyone would like to sort of close off with with anything? I guess we're good. All right, guys. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, we'll definitely be in touch throughout the coming weeks. It's going to be a busy uh, few weeks as always. And yeah, see you next time. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Hey, thank you. Bye. Thank you, everybody.